Given the huge impact on our business lives from COVID-19, we're now more than ever making increased use of virtual meetings to replace our normal physical face-to-face meetings. The cost of webcams have gone through the roof with the demand for Zoom calls and Microsoft Teams and other remote meetings. Some of the current webcams on sale may be of reduced quality or of limited functionality, or just plain expensive. If you have a digital camera, then this device could allow you to use your camera as a webcam with improved quality and improved functionality. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the strategies and tactics to be successful in environmental management. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. Like many other businesses, our environmental and sustainability consultancy, One Planet Solutions, has been conducting many more conference calls and audits using remote meeting tools such as Zoom and Microsoft Teams and communicating through our webcam to allow for video and audio. One way of improving on the use of a webcam is to use a digital camera that would allow for better quality video as well as greater control over the settings that you can use. The main problem with this approach is that until now it needed a special video capture device that typically costs £150 or nearly $200. Now there's a new entrant into this market that reduces the cost to about £20 or $25 and is super easy to install and use. The device comes in a small box with its technical features such as the ability to take 4K and high definition input and convert to HD and to work with Windows, Android and Mac OS operating systems. Inside the box is a small instruction booklet with further details on the features and specifications as well as how to connect and use the device. The device itself looks like a slightly larger USB memory drive. It's well built with a metal shell. At one end there's an input for a standard HDMI connection and the other end for output is a standard USB-A connection. Overall the device has a nice feel and weight about it bringing confidence to its use. Equipment. There is not much essential equipment that you will need. You will need to purchase the capture device which I described earlier. The other main item is a digital camera with a clean HDMI output. You should be able to confirm whether your camera has a clean HDMI output through your camera manufacturer's website. Here are two cameras at the top end and the mid range which have clean HDMI output and an older camera that does not output to a clean feed. Therefore, the settings will appear on the video. You can see the difference between a clean HDMI output and one with the display settings in this comparison video where you can clearly see the internal viewfinder display settings. If you do not have a clean HDMI output, then the output from your camera will send not only the video but also the display settings to your computer which is not desired and will make your video look unprofessional. Next you will need an HDMI cable which will need to be a full HDMI plug at one end for the capture device and the other end needs to be either a full HDMI mini HDMI or micro HDMI plug depending on the socket fitting on your camera. The other essential equipment is a computer whether a laptop or desktop either will work with the capture device providing it can take a regular USB A plug and that the software of your choice for the virtual meeting such as Zoom or Microsoft Teams will run on that computer. The device does state minimum specifications 
for the computer in terms of Intel i5 and i7 processors, a basic graphics card and 4GB of RAM memory. I used a capture device on my two-year-old laptop with an i7 processor and onboard graphics with no problems. Optional equipment to enhance the use of the capture device are a tripod to attach your camera, a microphone if you want better audio quality than the built-in microphone on your camera, and lighting to improve the quality of the video in low light conditions. Video capture in use. Using the capture device is very simple. Use the HDMI cable to connect to the camera and then to connect to the capture device. Connect the capture device to your computer and Windows 10 will recognise the capture card and the camera and set it up with all the correct drivers with no real problems. Then your camera is ready for your chosen software. Here I've set it up with Zoom with a comparison of the use of our webcam with the digital camera using the HDMI capture device. The webcam has little by the way of controls to alter the blue-white appearance or to change the angle of view, whereas the digital camera excels in both of these by allowing changes of the white balance and of colour temperature and with a zoom lens to change the angle of view. With your digital camera set up as a webcam, you should click on the card above to a link to an earlier episode on the equipment you need for virtual audits and meetings. Further information on all the documents referenced in this episode are given in the display box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. I hope that this episode has given you an insight into how you can use your digital camera to provide improved video on your Zoom and Microsoft Teams meetings and audits. Please leave a comment on your experiences below. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this channel, you can click on the link to the left. Thank you.